I've got your answers. And then our black wire for our minus, which we also used on auxiliary negative on the main panel. We'll tighten this up. Okay. So there's still a few connections to be made here, but in this example, we're not going to do them today. Uh, we're a little short on a phone line. But in, in your case, you would have two wires for dial tone, which you'd bring in to, to two line terminals, one wire to each terminal. And then if you're planning on doing what they call line seizure, or you can actually come off the uh, run a pair of wires from the set terminals, and that would actually go back to your house phones. So you're bringing in your dial tone from the street, to where it's his line and then feeding the rest of the house phones off the set terminals. After you've made all those connections you can actually go ahead and, and uh, clip this dialer back into place. It's not a bad deal. Just clips right in on the little deals and then it'll just snap right down into place. And so what we have is we have our relay being fed from our control panel and we have our normally open and calm feeding our Z1 and negative on the dialer and we've also supplied it power and technically we've supplied it dial tone. So with that being said that that would be about it for the wiring on the dialer um, and now there's not much to program providing that your panels already been programmed so the only things that we have to program is the bell circuit on the DSC panel is already ready to go so all we have to program is the dialer telling it where we want to call so this dialer can program up to four phone numbers. And when you're programming your phone numbers, you're going to need to make sure that they're programmed in exactly as if you were to pick up the phone and call it from your location. So this is very simple to do. So all we're going to do is we press the program button, and then we'll press the location that we want to program. So one, two, three, and four are for phone numbers one, two, three, and four. Locations 5, 6, 7, and 8 are 5, 6, 7, and 8 for channel 2. Um, so in this case, we'll just press program, and you'll see the dial light come on. And then we'll press 1. We'll press pound. And now we can enter in our phone number. So we go 1. When we're done, we press pound, and the dial light should go out. When you're programming in your phone number, you're going to need to make sure that you see the dial light flash for every single digit that you press. A lot of times what happens is if you're getting through your phone number fairly quickly, that the digit won't take and then the dialer won't make its phone call because it has an incorrect number programmed into it. So uh, now we can actually program a message, and this is very simple to do. You can press the pound key and then you'll see the dial light come on. Immediately press and hold down AL1. When you do that, you can actually deliver your message and you have about 10 seconds to deliver a message. When you're done, you just press the pound key. So we go program, and we say my alarm is going off, and then press the pound key. Dial light extinguishes, and now you have a message for AL1. A lot of times people will arm their system to test this dialer, but you actually don't have to. You can actually just press the AL1 button and assist the default, it will force the dialer to call your cell phone or whatever numbers you've programmed in the dialer. If you're uh, getting the phone calls and you're happy with the how it all went, then you can actually just press the stop button and it will no longer call any more numbers until it gets triggered from the relay. I think that's about it.